What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Bayonetta running on a Razor Edge Pro. Now for the life of me I couldn't get the uh, frame per second interface to work with Steam. But take my word for it, this runs in 60 frames per second, solid, and looks great. All you have to do is follow my settings, that's the first thing I'm going to do, show you guys what that looks like. Okay. So this is the Steam version of Bayonetta, of course. And it looks really good. Let's get to uh, settings first. Okay, let's get to options. Let's go to graphics. Let me show you guys what I did. Now, you could probably actually even put the uh, everything up higher than this, and it should still work right. This is just what I have. Um, it doesn't seem like it's a very difficult game to run for the Razer Edge Pro. So you can actually put some settings higher. I usually take off shadows just because whether it works or not. Because this is a big performance uh, reducer. Um, so I always take off anti... I always forget how to pronounce this. Anti... Alizing? Anyway, I always take that off. In every game. Because I like that little sharpness you know while we're looking at it in a small screen instead of for it to get dulled out texture quality on high that's the max it goes trillion uh, trillion near filtering um that's next to lowest it goes all this extra stuff i don't think it's all necessary leave it on trillion there i mean you can actually bump it up like i said if you want it to run in solid 60 frames per second this is what you do uh shadow quality i have on low ssao i have on none HDR on, VSync on, that's it. There's not really that many settings for this game. Um, yeah, so you just follow those settings exactly and you will be able to run this in a solid 60 frames per second. Now let's demonstrate. Like I said, you can even go higher. Um, this is just what I have. So I'm still at the beginning to the tutorial. This shows you how to play the game and so forth. Okay, what does it tell me to do now? Dodge. I don't see why you can't skip this. Dodge at the last minute to activate witch time. Which means what? Really? <laughs> oh, you can do like combinations huh, in the sky and everything. Oh, that's cool. I never played this game when I had it on PS3. In fact, I don't even remember if I had this game on PS3. So this is all new to me. But uh, it'll play just as smooth as Devil May Cry uh, Special Edition. I can't confirm bosses because I haven't made it to any bosses yet. But uh, just playing this part shows me that I can really enjoy it. As you see, I suck. Because <laughs> I've never played this before, so I'm just button mashing. So far, it's a very fun game. It's very interesting. Um, It looks like a finger killer for button mashers such as me. Of course, as I know you get moves later on. Better moves. Oh, 
Whoa! I didn't know she could do that. Why didn't it tell me that in the tutorial? Why didn't it tell me that? I mean, I'm glad I'm able to experience this game. I'm glad they released it on Steam because it's completely new to me. I never played it. And I appreciate the people that developed this game because it looks so fun. What's this all about? What? Oh, hold. Oh, cool. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. Ha ha ha. No, my friend's been telling me to play this game for like the longest. And I never did. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that is cool. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Rapid attack. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, this is cool as hell. I didn't know about this life. They didn't tell me about this. Nobody told me about this. Why hasn't anyone told me about how epic this game is? <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad I got to experience this game. so cool. Why is this so fun? Why do you do this? I gotta get used to the dodging thing. And the whole flying thing. You know? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. But this is the beginning, so who knows? Maybe 